Hello people and welcome back to my channel. It's that time of year again when I'm recreating another Lucy Boyton's uh, makeup look and this time I'm recreating her Oscar after party that Vanity Fair Oscar party and I have to say that I prefer this look over that one from Oscars. Dress and makeup everything was was better but I like that little uh, pearls in her hair in Oscar red carpet and she has beautiful glittery purple uh, eye under eye and of course lashes very natural nice skin rosy uh, lips I think that this is almost her natural lip color with a bit of gloss or something like that and it's it's not very wonderful and it goes nice with her hair so let's start I will start with Willa the Skin Food and uh, Joe Baker her makeup artist use this on on Lucy it is nice cream for that very nice glow natural glow that red carpet glow where you cannot see particles of of glitter of shimmer just something wet so this cream is that for red carpet glow and also a makeup artist by Lily Aldridge I can't remember who I think Patti Dubrov, I'm not sure uh, she used this on her cheeks too so skin food is that secret product, ultimate product of a red carpet skin and for my base I mix two products I mix MAC face and body and it cosmetics CC cream because I don't want the thickness of CC cream and I don't want that uh, coverage of MAC face and body because it's very low coverage I want something which has more coverage and a mix of these two is wonderful because water base of MAC face and body goes really nice with that thickness of IT Cosmetics CC cream concealer under my eyes with very fluffy brush this is eye blending brush but I am applying it it's nice soft matte complete concealer in the shade vanilla so use very light hand to apply concealer to prevent any strokes from brushes and that's very natural looking but this time I'm applying a bit more because this is a red carpet look and you need a bit more coverage I'm applying it on my lids to even out that lid for that pinky purple shadow that she had on her lids I have some yellow on my, my lids I'm preparing that for eyeshadow now just wait for a second to everything to set and now I will do my face firstly then contour and cheeks just to see how far I can go with that glitter and rosy rosy lids in the meantime I did my brows so she had has very nice fluffy feathery brows I don't have full brows like she has but I try to make that look and I prefer that look on me so it's not problem now I will contour my cheeks and she has strong contour strong and soft at the same same time because it's very nice it's blended out well and I will use very fluffy brush this is a blush brush and she has completely different eye shape than me 
and onto the blush I will use very big 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 fluffy and use NARS palette the brightest color in the in the pan in the palette it has some shimmer in it it's not very precise eyes are quite simple I will use very bright pink and white mixed together to get that pastel pink now it's too vibrant now we'll add a bit more white and I enjoy mixing colors I'm, I'm feeling like a painter almost And on that video that Miss Jo Baker posted, you can see creases on her lids, which I love and it's completely natural for, for eyeshadow to crease when you have something glossy on, on, on your eyelids. So she has very little skin food on her eyelids to, make, to get that glossy effect. I like to re see real makeup, if you understand what I'm trying to say. So it's completely natural for, for concealer to crease, for glossy eyes to crease and everything. And for her lower lash line, she has glitter, purple glitter, but I don't have glitter. So I will use purple pencil by MAC. I have some purple glitter, but her glitter has some silver in it. I will try to make something with my glitter. So now just put pencil through your lash line and blend it. And now for that funny part, I will mix MAC lip gloss and glitter from from NYX and try to make that glittery look so I made that concoction and I will try to put it on my lower lash line I don't have um, glue for these glitters so I try to make it with lip gloss because it's very thick lip gloss and quite sticky so I thought that that would work and it, it, it's working and now just I will curl my lashes and apply tons of of black mascara and apply just a touch of little skin food Oh, it's so nice. It's beautiful. And press it into your skin. And for the end, lip gloss. Just clear lip gloss. Small amount, not for that very glossy look. We are not going for that. And this is the finished result. I know that that glitter, my glitter is not the same as her glitter because her has more that silver undertone. But I really hope you like this look. I loved her look and see you in the next one. Bye.